Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Sorry, I am too early, but these days I had problem with the uh, with the the Zoom. Mm -hmm. So I try to get early this day. Okay, perfect. No problem. That's okay. Okay, and have you practiced your um your speaking your speaking skill? Mm, more or less. <laughs> more or less, right? Okay, no more problem. We are going to practice today. Probably we will be able to finish question two and question three. Uh, we will we will just give some examples and we will try to answer uh, one question of each. So we will be able to probably go with question four for tomorrow. So we are going to wait for the rest because I don't want to begin without them. Now we are going to review question one because uh, we've been practicing question one for two days, right? So uh, good evening, Katia. Thank you for coming on time. Good evening, teacher. Okay, we were checking the question one yesterday about uh, general opinion. Um, that is the question that we were talking uh, yesterday, independent speaking, so it's just what your opinion, right? What you think about a topic or something. Now, this is an integrated speaking. In this integrated speaking, we are going to combine different things. We are going to combine listening and we are going to combine also um, speaking, right? And also reading. Let me see here. So this was, uh, these were the, the questions that we were uh, checking yesterday. It says, for example, one of them was talking about uh, jobs, right? Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer uh, one job your entire life or to switch jobs every five years? So uh, we were talking about this. This one, this one uh, is uh, an answer, like an, a very good answer. Um, like this is like a model, right? That you can check, right? And as you can see, it has some expressions, right? To me, I remember when, on top of that, for example. So to sum up, right? This is like the perfect response. Uh, we don't try to be perfect, but it's good to, to have examples, right? For uh, um, answers. So it says here, to me, I definitely think that it's better to switch jobs every five years because all jobs get boring and new jobs are exciting. I remember when I worked at school in New York and by the end of my time there, I was ready for a change. So as you can see, uh, this is like uh, like the model, a model of a response. And we are going to, well, I will give you this example for you to check it, right? So let me see here. We are about to begin with uh, question number two. But first, I uh, will explain to you how we are going to do. We are going to form two groups, right? I guess that some people, they are still uh, are still working. So probably they will be late. So if, for example, we are six or seven or eight, uh, the half of you will answer question two. And the other half of uh, your classmates will answer question three. So we are going to divide it. And I know that all of you wants to practice, but it's because of the time. So if you want to record your response, I have an application here. It's like a TikTok application, but it's just for, for example, it's for speaking, right? Or uh, for recording responses. I will share this information in the group. Just allow me one minute, please. The name of the application is Flip. So I will open a group there. And you can, for example, if you participated in question two and you didn't answer question three, you can record your response of question three in that application. And I can listen to you and I can give you recommendations. 
and uh, the opposite, right? If you participated in question three and you didn't answer question two, you will record um, that question or that your answer in that application. So let me see here. I will send you just the information. So if you check the WhatsApp group, that is the information about Flip. And that is the application that you can download in your cell phone, okay? You can download the application and I will send you a code. Probably after the class, I will send you a code so you can record your response. <clears throat> so uh, thank you for coming. Uh, Danilo, Marielos, Lady, Maritza, Kathy. We are going to begin right now with question number two, okay? So as I was explaining before, we are going to divide the class into two. Uh, the first part of the class, probably Katia, Maritza, Danilo, Marielos, and Lady will answer question two. And the rest, for example, if we have more classmates later, and if we have time, we are going to answer question three. If you don't uh, participate in question three, for example, if you don't have uh, or you're not able to answer it, you can record your response. Uh, this is just a recommendation. Uh, you can download an application. The name of the application is Flip. Let me show you here. So, or you can, or you can download the application, right? Or you can record a voice note on the WhatsApp group. But if if you want to, you can record it here. This is this is the logo of the application, and you can download it there. Okay, this is the logo Flip, and I will send you a code, and you will enter into a group, right? So that is just for you to know. Let me see here. So now I'm going to explain to you question number two. Very quickly, okay? Solo le voy a dar indicaciones generales, very quickly, because sometimes we don't have time to practice. Okay. Now, this is question number two. Question number two is about um, campus announcement and a conversation. So you are going to report on the opinion of one of the speakers in the conversation and explain why he or she feels that way. You will have 50 seconds to read, 60 to 120 seconds to listen, 30 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. So you are going to speak only one minute, okay? So you are going to report, right? Your goal, it's always to sound natural and conversational, like you have always done. In this question number two, you need to think like a reporter because you are going to report, you're going to tell me what you listen to, what is the change, right? So there is a change in the university or in the campus probably, and you need to identify the new rule or change. You need to find the reasons for the change. You need to listen to interviews and you need to report on opinions and supporting reasons. So you need to listen if they agree with this new rule or if they disagree, right? People in general. This is an example for a question, uh, two separate graduation ceremonies. So this one is about two separate graduation ceremonies. And this is about changes to the exam policy. So you will read this passage, for example, and then you finish reading it. And then you are going to listen to a conversation, right? Normally the conversation is between a man and a woman and they start talking about the change or the new rule, right? So uh, you need to prepare your response. You can take notes, yes. But if you are answering, the, when you are answering the, the question, when you are speaking, don't read your notes. No lean las notas cuando estén hablando. So first is to identify the change. Reason one, and reason two, right? For example, what is the change in this paragraph, right? They have decided to conduct two separate graduation ceremonies starting this year, so that is the change. And the parts in green, they are the reasons. The um, numbers have increased, uh, have increased dramatically. Um, they, um, the ceremony was too long. There is not enough space in the auditorium, so all of them are reasons. 
So these are notes, right? Uh, you need to write short words because you will have only like 50 seconds for you to write notes. Then this is the conversation. If you want to, this is a recommendation. You can use this diagram the, and then you can write here what the man says and here what the woman says for your notes. And this is a transcript, right? For example, they start speaking. Hi, did you hear that they are going to make two graduation ceremonies this year? Yes, exactly. Okay. I certainly don't like that. So you, you need to listen to that. If they like it or if they don't like it. So in this case, the woman, she doesn't like it. Why? And these are the reasons, right? It's almost two hours of ceremony. And then she starts talking, right? Um, um, why don't just have the ceremony outside? Most universities have the graduation ceremonies outside. So that are the reasons, right? Those are those are the reasons. And these are the notes, right? So you, you can just have one or two reasons for the conversation and one or two reasons for the reading, right? You are going just to speak one minute, remember. And preparing your response. So you need to report the change. That is the first step, report the change. Number two, report one person's opinion of the change. Report on the reasons for their opinion. Wrap it up with a conclusion. And these are the templates, right? You can use this later in your house or when you have time. You can use this template to create your own response. For example, the reading passage announces a change and this or um, then the, the man or the woman in the conversation is in favor or is against of this idea and blah, 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 right? You have 30 seconds here. Then uh, from 30 seconds, 36 to 54. Secondly, he explains, so you give another reason. And at the end, the conclusion, right? Just five seconds. As you can see, the man or the woman in the listening clearly agrees or disagrees with this plan. And that's it, right? You speak for one minute. And this is an example for a response, right? And this is just a template for you to measure uh, the questions. If you speak the, the time, if your introduction was 50 seconds or less, blah, 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 or all of those things, right? To give your response, remember, don't be a robot. Don't worry about paraphrasing. You can paraphrase. Always record your responses when you are practicing at home and put yourselves in their shoes. Remember, uh, this is question three. So we have Danilo, Katia, Maritza, Marielos, Lady, Sara, and Myra. So we are right now, let me see here, eight. Eight. Do you have any question about this, um, this, uh, this question? Question number two? Do you have any question? Preguntas? No, I have a question about the application. Uh, I try to open and search. Ah, the application. Yeah, that is just a link. That is just a link, right? Ese solo es un link el que les mandé al grupo. Pero you can go, if you have iPhone or you if you have Android, you can go to Play Store and look for a clip and download it, okay? Okay, if you need help, let me know. If you don't want to use the application, si no quieren usar la aplicación, pueden grabar un audio por WhatsApp, okay? Si no participan. Okay, questions about the question number two? No questions? Okay, so we have eight people, let's see. So we are going to begin with Katia, Maritza. Sir, sorry, yes. I can't. I can see the your your screen. The screen you cannot see it. Let me see. Yes, there is a problem with Zoom. I don't know why. But sometimes uh, students cannot see the screen. Can you see the, the screen right now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we are, let me see, we are nine. We are eight, eight, let's say, right? Let's see, lady. Lady, Katia, Maritza, Sarah. 
en el Juan José. Ok. So, um, we are going to leave the rest for question number two. Ok, number, group number one will be Lady, Katia, Maritza, Sara, and Juan José. And group number one will be Myra, and Danilo, Marielos, and that's it, I guess, right? Yes, Danilo, Marielos, Myra. Yes. You, the three of you will be group number, group number uh, two. If somebody else appears, they, they will ask or they will answer question number three. So right now, do you have any question about question number two or are you ready? Are you ready, Lady Katia, Maritza, Sara, and Juan Jose? Yes, no questions. Okay, perfect, perfect. So let me look for the question right now. Let me see. Okay, now I will share the screen and I will give you, I will uh, repeat to you the times for question number two. So you will have 50 seconds to read, okay? And then I will play you the listening and then uh, 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. So I will let you know that. I can listen very well, teacher. Yes, I guess Danilo is, is with somebody else. Let me, let me see if I can mute Danilo. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, now we are going to begin with question number two, okay? Excuse me, teacher, I, I connect me late. I, I don't know what uh, are the question or you put in this moment. Oh, okay, yes. Uh, Juan Jose, you will answer then question number three, okay? They are very similar. La pregunta tres y la pregunta dos son muy similares. They are very similar, okay? So you are going to participate in question number three. So right now, only Lady, Katia, Maritza, and Sara will answer. But if you want to answer, you can start reading and you can prepare, okay? So you can start reading right now. This is a speaking test part number two for question number two, okay? Um, you can start reading. Let me know if you need more. Well, I guess this is enough, right? Sorry, this is yes. my this is my example. Yes, Lady Katia, Maritza, and Sarah. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you will have one fifty seconds to read. Okay, I will set up the timer right now, and once you finish reading, I will let you know. Okay, so read and take notes read and take notes okay go ahead right now read and take notes all of you can do it todos lo pueden hacer Teacher, excuse me, I have a doubt. Uh, I think that uh, the you can create uh, the group and we are going to work in, in the group that you create. I, I, I don't understand because I, I, I connect me late. 
Yes, uh, this is just an example. Okay, um, we are going we are going to divide the class, but we are going to read at the same time. Okay, so we will we will have um, the the same opportunity to participate. Okay. O sea, todos vamos a, vamos, todos vamos a preparar la respuesta, pero la clase la vamos a dividir en dos. Eh, la vamos a dividir en dos porque la primera pregunta la vamos a leer y solo ciertas personas la van a contestar, la mitad de la clase. La pregunta número tres la va a contestar la otra mitad. Ok. Ok, solo para ganar tiempo. Ok, now stop reading. Did you take notes for this paragraph? Yes, right? Perfect. Now we are going to listen to a conversation. Okay. We are going to listen to a conversation about this the assessment procedure count. Okay, listen, please. Thank goodness the department has made changes to the way they assess group work. I had a nightmare last term with our geology project. I couldn't bear going through that again. Why? What happened? Well, there were three of us in the group. One guy worked really hard, but he didn't trust anyone else to do anything. He just wanted to do it all himself. It sounds like you were freeloading. Well, I wasn't. I offered up plenty of ideas, but he kept saying they were no good. In the end, I stopped trying and left it to him. The other guy was a waste of space. He didn't pull his weight at all. We barely saw him. Did you get a good grade? A reasonable one, considering how little work I did but I'm sure I'd have done better if I'd been given the chance to say what I wanted. Well, the new system should give you that opportunity. Yeah, I hope so. Though I wish they'd abolish group work altogether. All this organization and communication is just a waste of time. It's got nothing to do with geology. Okay, now you have uh, one minute for you to prepare your response, okay? One minute for you to prepare the response. Un minuto para preparar su respuesta. Start right now, and then we are going, I'm, I'm going to ask you, okay? What you understood about the reading and the listening. Okay, perfect. Now that's it. Now we are going to begin with uh, the answers, right? The speaking part. Now, remember, this will be the same for question four. I'm sorry, question three. Question two and question three, they are very similar. We need to read, we need to listen, and we need to say what we understand about this. Now, uh, let's see. Sarah. What do you understand about this conversation and this reading? What is the, the change or what was the conversation about? Can you tell me? Yes. Um, my opinion is about the geology and department. I think it's in the processes in the school. Mm -hmm. But is uh, is an interesting topic, and um, but uh, while strong, um, students are frustrated to speak about about topic because it's a big topic is but it's interesting topic, but in some students causes a uh, confusion or distracted because it for the topic that's it okay perfect perfect yes almost one minute perfect perfect let's see you 
Sarah, right? Okay, Sarah. Now we are going to go with another response. Let's see, Maritza. Maritza, what did you understand about the reading and the conversation? Uh, I, 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 I understand that some, some students are frustrated. Uh, they are in the, in the geology department and have problems uh, by the way they work. And that's why I, under, I understand, but there are some words that I couldn't understand. Uh, I think they are uh, disagree with the assessment and they want to have another opportunity to, to, to have uh, uh, another assessment. Uh, they, they, don't, they don't want to work in groups because they feel that some of them are stronger and another are weak. And all the work the stronger people does, uh, only, only they, they does the work and the weak they only are expecting for the result of the work. And that's it. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Perfect, perfect. Let's see, the other a participant will be Katia. Katia, what did you understand about the reading and the conversation? Okay, <clears throat> I, I think it's about uh, activities uh, that um, students have to, be, to do in geolo geology department and they can't organize it very well. Uh, some students don't, uh, don't do anything, and others uh, have, uh, feel frustrated or feel bad because uh, they maybe don't understand uh, how to, how, how, to make to do the uh, the project and they need more explication from his teachers or better organization i don't know teacher. <laughs> okay very good very good try very good try very <laughs> good and the last one will be lady lady what did you understand about the reading and the listening. Yes, um, I understand from this uh, reading and listening that the students uh, that were working in groups, in some cases they feel frustrated because they are not getting like the grades that they deserve because there are other students that are not making uh, the enough before. So, at the end, uh, also it's difficult for the, the teachers to, to assign a, a grade. And they are saying that they are gonna apply a new system uh, with, the, with the purpose to, to know how um, they were working or, or how they are like participating and making the effort. So, um, it's like nothing related with the, the subject or the, or the science, the geology. It's like, it's like a matter of not good uh, organization with the students when they are working. That's it. Okay, perfect. Perfect, very good. So you see, that is one of the question. What, that is just one question. That is question number one. You don't, for that, that's the reason why I didn't create the groups. Por eso no creo los grupos hoy. Because uh, you are going to read and you are going to listen and you will tell me what you understand. As you remember in this question number two, you need to think as a reporter, right? You just need to report what happened. What is the change, right? What is the opinion of the people, right? And let's see, Sarah, uh, you were talking about a geology department. And remember that this is uh, for you to um, to explain just what you read here and what you listen. Okay, it's not it's not asking you if it is interesting. It's not asking you 
if it is um if it is bad or if it is good so it's telling you what happened in the reading what is the change and what is the change in the conversation if they are agree or if they are not in agreement right but uh, you almost had one minute sarah maritza you spoke one one um one minute also and you were able to notice the the problem so you said that the students were frustrated because of the geology department they have problems because some they don't understand like the subject and they have like the assessment there is a problem with the assessment so very good very good maritza at the end um something that you shouldn't uh, say is like I there are some words that I didn't understand uh, you don't have to say that right you don't have to say that because it's like extra information right like you just need to talk about the reading and the conversation and that's it like you don't have to say I, I didn't I didn't understand that those words because you're telling me that you are not understanding so you can admit that so that is not a very good recommendation Katya, also you um, spoke for one minute and you say different things also about the problem. Uh, you notice the problem that they, they felt frustrated, they felt bad because they didn't understand how the project will be done. And uh, one question for you, Katya, how do you say organizado? Organized. Um, Organized. 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 Organized, exactly. Organized. Or they can organ organ organization. Organization. They, decía, organization. A organization, okay. right? Organization or organized, right? So that's different. Lady, very good. Also, you spoke for one minute. The students were working in groups. They felt frustrated because they were working in groups, right? And some students they work more, and some others they don't work that much, right? So um and you were uh, mentioning that another thing that i noticed in your speech lady how do you say esfuerzo in english lady effort 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 right effort mm -hmm. effort and no I, and i mispronounce right yes <laughs> that, because i don't know if you also think in spanish or or probably that is the way that that you used or sometimes we mispronounce words, but that is making mm -hmm. effort, right? But that's okay. just a little bit. Something that I noticed that nobody mentioned was the resolution. What was the resolution of the problem? Everybody talked about the problem, right? With the geology department, they felt frustrated, but what is the resolution? Nobody mentioned that. Nadie mencionó la resolución del problema. And it's here, right? The department feels that it's a great deal to be gained from the group in terms of self-organization communication skills. To this end, we plan to introduce a system whereby the group work itself is not normally assessed, but each student will undertake an individual piece of work based on the group project. So everybody will participate in an individual piece of work, and that's the way that they will be graded right by this participation they will solve that problem in that way now we are going to listen to a sample answer una respuesta de ejemplo verdad and also we are going to read it just for you to to see right this is the the response of another student let's say right the man is not keen on group work in his experience, group work was frustrating because another group member wasn't interested in his ideas and so did the work himself. He denies being a freeloader because he did try, unlike the other team member, but he admits that he did not deserve the marks he was awarded because so little of the group work was his own. So it sounds as if the faculty is right in identifying that group marks don't correctly reflect the amount of work students have done. Another problem is that the man wishes he'd had the opportunity to approach the task in an individual way. The faculty seems to recognize this. That is why they have decided to implement a system whereby students do an individual piece of work based on a group project. The man and the faculty don't agree on everything, though. 
The man doesn't think that the skills required in group work, that is, group organization and communication, are useful for a student of geology. However, the faculty thinks they are, and that is why they aren't abolishing group work altogether. Okay, that is a response, like an example for a response, right? The man is not keen on the group, and they are explaining everything, and also they explain the conversation, right? In the conversation, uh, they mention this, they mention that. So we also need to um, talk about the conversation also, okay? So a question about this, how do you feel about this question? The the, the ones who who answer the question, Lady, Katya, Maritza, Sarah, is a difficult one. <laughs> Frustrated. <laughs> Frustrated. It's okay because we are practicing. It's the first time, right? We are practicing. So we are going to practice now with um, Mayra, Danilo, Marielos, and Juan Jose. Let's see. We also have Miguel. Very good. So question number uh, question number three is very similar. And also question number four is very similar to question number two. We have also Nelsi, right? Nelsi. So since they were late, it's okay for them to practice with question number um, question number three. So I will give you some tips for question number three. Okay, I gave you tips for question number two, and I will give you tips for question number three. Just one moment. What is it about the question number three? is about a lecture. Explain, uh, question number three is academic reading and lecture. Es como una clase, ustedes van a escuchar una clase, okay? Explain the academic topic, introducing the reading, and describe the main points, points about the topic described in the lecture. So you are going to explain to me what you heard and what you listened. So you will have 50 seconds to read, 60 to 120 seconds to listen, like one minute or two minutes to listen, it depends. 30 seconds to prepare your response, I will give you one minute, and 60 seconds to speak. So Lady, Katya, Maritza, and Sarah, you can do the same, but you are not going to speak this time, okay? Only Myra, Danilo, Marielos, Juan Jose, eh, Miguel, and Nelsi. okay? I will ask them only but you can prepare your response if you want to. And then you can record it, right? On the WhatsApp group or in the application that I will explain again for the ones to, who came late. So in this question, you are going to listen or you are going to read things about biology, psychology, business, history, or art. You need to, first of all, you need to identify and define the topic. You need to listen to a lecture on the topic. So you are going to listen also. You are going to understand the topic's real world application and you are going to report and elaborate on the topic. For example, uh, this is the reading, right? Let's say this is an example for the question. Read Swarm Intelligence. So Swarm Intelligence, probably this is about psychology, right? Or habit formation. Uh, formation, probably this is about biology, right? So you'll start reading and reading and reading. And then we are going to listen, right? We are going to listen on audio, okay? You will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Only 60 seconds, no more. And you can write uh, notes, right? For example, first of all, identify the topic. Then the definition of the topic, what are they talking about, right? And then additional notes. For example, about Swarm Intelligence, what is Swarm Intelligence? For example, if I start reading in the green part, if you check here, is saying or is showing the response right there. What is Swarm Intelligence? Swarm Intelligence is when the insects do not work individually, but as a collective in order to create a kind of super brain. So swarm intelligence is when all of the insects things like together, right? So that is swarm intelligence. And the parts in uh, blue, they are like examples, right? So I can talk about what kind of insects, right? Bees, wasps, termites, uh, all of that, right? Hundreds of individual brains, right? So I can mention this in my response. So I write these uh, this notes, or you can take notes, but don't read the notes. So SRAM intelligence, 
um, is when uh, organisms work together and um, additional notes, right? Bees, swaps, termites, etc. Remember, notes are not as important as comprehension. You need to comprehend, you need to understand what you're reading and what you are listening. If you don't want to take notes, it's okay. Understand first, write second. And also uh, example one, example two, you need to at least give me one example, right? Of the lecture. And this is the speaking, right? This is an example of what you are going to listen, right? This is not the one that you are going to listen, but this is just an example. So they start they start speaking also, and it says take ants for example. They will work together to find the shortest route or route to food uh, to a food source and work together and carry it back to the nest. So this is an example, and we can um, check different notes right here. So this is the main idea. The yellow one is the main idea. And the green ones are just supporting that idea, like more examples and more examples and more examples, right? So we have uh, two notes, the ones from the reading and the ones for the listening. So first of all, when I ask you, okay, uh, let's see Myra or Danilo, right? Or Marielos, what did you understand about, about the reading and the listening? Okay, so you are going to introduce and define the topic first. So, ah, oh, this topic was about this, about that. And then you're going to state and expand. You are going to provide the first example. If you, if you have another example and you still have time, you give another example and then you wrap it up with a conclusion. So I believe that this is really interesting because it's talking about this and this and this, okay? You can um, use this as a template for you to practice at home. Esto es para que practiquen en casa, right? Um, for example, to introduce the topic, what can I say? According to the reading or this topic is about this, this, that. Then the transition to give uh, the first example, right? In the lecture, the professor delves deeper into the subject by providing an example of this and this and that. Then the first 30 seconds gone, right? And then... Um, then, uh, then on the second example of the topic, you can say, then she goes and says this, and the, the, the professor or the teacher says this and that. And at the end, the last five seconds, so after listening, I now have a better understanding of and the topic, right? That's it. That is the way that you are going to prepare your response. And I'm explaining this for you to practice at home. Practice at home. I, I know that you won't do this right now, right? Because it's a lot of information. And this is a response uh, for the topics that we were reading. It's, this is an example, right? And this is just a checklist for you to notice if you are improving or not in different uh, levels, okay? So remember, speak mostly about the listening. Speak with interest and enthusiasm. Probably this is not very interesting talking about, I don't know, uh, insects or but you have to be a, like show enthusiasm, like it's the best topic ever. And at home, you can record your responses. That's another another um, advice. And don't read your notes, okay? And we're going to leave question four for tomorrow. Okay, everybody can can write notes. Everybody will listen and everybody will read, okay? Let's see. Okay, question three. Are you ready? Yes, right. Okay, are you able to see the screen? Yes. Okay, now you can start reading. I will give you one minute for you to read. Read and take notes, please.
Okay, perfect. Now we are going to stop reading and now we are going to listen to the lecture, okay? It's always related to this theory, okay? Listen, please, listen to the lecture. An example of how you might go about this is, um, well, I'll describe a lesson I observed a few weeks ago. The teacher was teaching children about nature, about plants, specifically about how to identify different trees. The first thing she did was to play a game where students had to name as many trees as they could without writing anything down, just speaking out loud. Then after that little activity, she described the different ways you can identify trees from the shape of their leaves, their buds, their bark, and so on. But you can imagine that the kids who don't have very good imaginations, they couldn't really visualize what she was talking about. Their minds were starting to wander. They were shuffling in their seats and getting distracted. But that was okay, because next, she showed some photos for them to look at on the electronic whiteboard, then passed around some picture books. Students then copied some of the pictures into their exercise books. And after that, students got the chance to go out into the school grounds and physically identify some of the trees that were there. So it was quite an effective lesson, very memorable. And the pupils looked very engaged. A week later, I asked one of them to describe to me the leaf of an oak tree, and she did so perfectly. Okay, now we are going to prepare our response. I will give you one minute to prepare the response, okay? Try to uh, prepare what you are going to say right now. Okay, now we finish with the preparation. We are going to start uh, with Myra. Myra, what did you understand about the lecture? Hi, teacher. Good night. Well, in my case, I understand the topic is about the three types of learner. And for many people, it's easy to learn with visual and the others, uh, with reading and the other hands and other people um, kinesthetic or kinesthetic. And I think it's a interesting topic because in many in many schools uh, teachers are implementing that uh, that, that uh, strategy. Um, the classes are good and the school and the students are learning more. Okay, very good, perfect, almost one minute. Very good, perfect. Let's see now, let's see Danilo. What did you understand about the lecture? Danilo, are you there? Oh, probably he had some problems, right? It's not here. Let's see. No, it's not here. So let's see, Marielos. Marielos, what did you understand about the topic? Uh, you're on mute, Marielos. <laughs> Sorry, you're on mute. <laughs> Sorry. You can start again, no problem. 
the old screen. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, teacher. Um, the the lecture is about the uh, theory uh, about the uh, receivers in the to learn about visual or auditory or uh, kinesthetic uh, kinesthetic uh, uh, then about the way of the way we we learned uh, the I don't know the knowledge uh, about uh, to to uh, I can say I I not I don't know teacher <laughs> because we I, I think um, about me uh, for me is is good to visual and auditory and and write I can learn to uh, better better if I use the three the three um, uh, sensory receivers but uh, it's difficult to me teacher. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. no problem. It was really Sorry. good. It was really good. You, you spoke with three, well, one minute. No problem. It's just mm -hmm. one minute. Okay, very good, Maria. Let's, let's see. Uh, Juan Jose, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, tell me, what did you understand about the lecture? Um, I understand about the, the lecture that um, there are um, several uh, kinds of, of form to, to learn. Uh, um, one, uh, the metal, uh, visual, uh, auditory, and kinesthetic. Um, some people um, prefer <laughs> auditory and kinesthetic. Uh, be, uh, I, I think that visual is not um, sure because um, the, the brain um, can make a mistake <laughs> visual. Um, I think um, that um, the kinesthetic of learning is better because you use many, many senses, uh, tact, um, visual, um, hearing, etc. Uh, and the uh, learning is, is better. Okay, perfect, perfect. One minute, perfect. Let's see. Uh, Miguel, what did you understand about the lecture? The, the listening also and the reading, right? Okay. Um, teacher, uh, learning your class and keep uh, motivation, motivation and the students. Uh, the dedication for back theory is the result of this interest for the student. Uh, identification uh, student, uh, uh, the good teacher uh, adapt your to your teaching techniques for tip uh, students is visual a student is visual is uh, for because it's dominant uh, is principal visual uh, best using a student is uh, auditory uh, listening. Uh, the student is kinesthetic, uh, physical activity, because the example techniques identify your student is individualization uh, for a student. Is my is I understand? Okay, very good, Miguel. Very good. One minute, and the last one will be Nelsi. Nelsi, what can you tell me about the lecture? What did you understand about the reading and the listening? Mm, and in my case, teacher, the listening, I, I don't understand no, no, no much, but I, I am going to try to explain about the reading. <laughs> mm -hmm. And in my case, I think that the, this, these theories, um, are very important because uh, all the people have have a, a different uh, forms to learn. And for for example, um, these three sensory receivers, visual. For example, uh, when you use visual and sensory, when when you use the visual theory, um, I think that the people and watch the some image and they remember 
uh, the oh they learn more about the about the concept about the about the reading about the topic for example in my case um, um i am the visual i'm very very visual i remember the image for example a photograph about the the page number page the the number page where where was the the topic or the answer that i need and in another case i think that our audi, auditory is when the people or in the children's in the in the scholar in the scholarship in the scholar in the in the preparatory um they listening in some uh, songs for example they sing uh, 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 songs uh, we with a uh, uh, alphabet uh, the vowels i don't know they they learning to sometimes in in a song and in kinesthetic uh, the in my case, I'm not kinesthetic, but the people or the children um, learning and with a uh, with a dance, uh, listening a song, and they dance and remember about the topic or about the the information they want to remember. But all the ways I think that are very important and all the people have a different ways to learn okay very good okay you used two minutes okay but it was mm -hmm. it was okay it was good remember <laughs> that it's just one minute okay okay um sorry um myra danilo mariano Juan jose miguel and nelsie uh you didn't talk about the listening why it was not understandable or you didn't pay attention because you had the reading in front of you what happened with the listening in my case, I can understand. <laughs> yeah, because the teacher is said, this person was. Uh huh. You didn't understand. The voice is no. It was not clear. Clearly. It was not really? clear. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. But actually, the the man was talking about another teacher was playing a game with the students, and they were talking about birds and everything, and. And then it says, uh, next she shows some photos, them to look at on to the electronic whiteboard. They pass around some pictures. A student then copies some of the pictures into the exercise books. And after that, students got the chance to go out in the school grounds and physically identify of the trees that they were there. So it was quite an effective lesson, very memorable and pupils looked very engaged. So in the um, listening, this person was talking about a teacher who was teaching, first of all, with uh, trying to teach the students the trees, right? The nature. And first of all, she was describing it. Then she was showing pictures. And at the end, they went outside and they were able to identify the, the, the trees, right? The animals, the trees, the different trees and plants. So those are were some of the examples that you could use. Remember that in this kind of question, when it is lecture, try to explain as clear as possible, como que se lo estuvieran explicando a un niño de 10 años, ¿verdad? Como que se lo estuvieran explicando así como, esto es, esto es así, los ejemplos son así, y entiendo esto, y esto, y esto. And now, it was really good, but you talk only about the, the reading, the listening, you didn't mention it, so that was a little bit of a problem. Let's see, Danilo was not here. Myra, strategies, right? You say strategies and topic. Also, another word that I noticed that was kind of difficult for you was kinesthetic, right? Kinesthetic. So you need to practice that that word or that sound, that kinesthetic, right? That sound, the th sound. And Marielos, yeah, kin yeah, kinesthetic, yeah. And let's see, Marielos, you talk for one minute, see what it was okay. Uh, there are some words also, right? 
that it was kind of difficult for you to pronounce that kinesthetic. Um, let's see, Juan Jose, you did it very well. Also, um, sometimes I, I understood the idea that you tr you were trying to express yourself and but I understand the idea, but at the end, it, like, it was like really quickly, right, to wrap it up. So we just need to practice in timing and a little bit of pronunciation. Nelsi, you um, spoke like around two minutes. So also you need to manage the time and also some questions, right? Some, some things like answer, for example, answer or uh, let's see another one. Images, uh, well, images, I guess it was okay, but answer in some other words, eh, we need to listen to more English. And I guess that Miguel, um, the same problem is affecting you, right? Um, because you have a problem with English, with the pronunciation, because you are, I don't know if you're still translating. If you're still translating, you try to stop doing that because you uh, mentioned a lot of uh, these were like dedication or uh, how do you say te technicas in English, Miguel? Technique. Te techniques, right? Techniques, Technique. no. Techniques, techniques. Okay. Very good. So how do you say resultados, Miguel? Result. Results. Results. Results, you see? Result? No, results. Um, how do you say identificar? Identify. Identify. Okay. Exactly. So you know how to write it. You see, you know how to write the words, but you need to listen to more English, okay? And try okay. to think in English. Okay, at least we finish with question two and question three. I have a question. Yes, yes. Uh, in the module number three and number four, mm -hmm. we have to online and say, mm -hmm. and send you, and send you. Uh, and my dog is in, how many times do you respond <laughs> that uh, it says? I don't know. I, I We are going to, to send you. But you um, back this <laughs> say with um, note. Ah, uh, I like if question number two. If you're going to send a, an answer, no, in the in the platform. <laughs> ah, in the platform. Oh, about yeah. the no. This is just for you to practice. The platform is for you to practice. But if you want yeah, to send yes, a response, yes, but 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 there are some uh, questions that uh, we need to send you. Yes, uh, I say, and you are to put a note. Yes, exactly. So if you want to send the the note, I was I, I was I'm going to explain this really fast. Uh, you are going to send it to me to through an application, or if you don't want to use this application, the name of the application is Flip. I send the information to to the to the group, so you can download the application. But if you want to use the application, it's okay. You can record a voice note. Okay and send me the response of those exercises there. You just need to tell me this is the response for this exercise, exercise one and this one, okay? And you'll record your response, okay? Okay. Okay, if you want, uh, using the platform, right? We are talking about the platform. And also if you want to uh, send me a response of question two, three, four, or about any of these questions, you can uh, send it to me during the weekend, no problem. If you want to practice and you want feedback from me, you can you can do that, okay? So tomorrow we are going to finish with question four and I have a surprise at the end of the class if we have time, okay? <laughs> a little surprise for you to practice more. So we are going to okay. see that tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay. See you Thank tomorrow. You. Have a nice night. Good night, everybody. Good night, Good night everybody. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, bye.